All right, this one's going to be on Dex. It's a program to create .desktop files uh, from the command line. Um, you can do this for auto start or just you know just a .desktop shortcut if you want to do it. Um, normally, when you're using this on a uh, you know desktop environment, depending on what you're using like GNOME KDE or XFC or whatever, you should have like um, what is that in your like settings or something like that they have like an auto startup or something. Is it your sessions and startup? right and here you can add um, and then when you do all this it will actually generate a dot desktop files and it'll be located in your auto startup uh, folder and that's how basically it starts up and this is how you do in the GUI but if you ever want to do in the command line uh, that's what I'm going to show you here now some of these are like normal user you can see this one I can remove some of these are um, admin level so it depends on uh, what you want to do but I'm just going to show you um, the um, you know the local users here anyways um, what do we do here so this one's called Dex should be in your repositories but let's see here man Dex and you can actually do a dry run of which program will auto start up um, so for example if I want to do auto startup I do dash a and I can do a a, a dry run so dash D and you can actually do like a set of environment too. So if you're using like KDE, XFC, uh, GNOME, uh, it'll work a little bit differently depending on which, uh, which one you're using. So I'll show you that in a minute here. So for example, if I do uh, DEX A for auto startup and I do a D for dry run, this is what it'll, you know, load up when I'm starting my computer, right? So you can see uh, it starts on the launcher thing some of my Bluetooth applet, some GNOME keyring. Uh, you can see the list here. Now, if you wanted to see what it looks like if I'm doing this in GNOME, I can do a dash E for environment and I can do GNOME. And this is what it will load up if I was booting up into a GNOME environment. Uh, so anything with KDE. Um, and then uh, XFCE. Right, so that's some stuff you can do, but how do you actually generate a uh, .desktop uh, file? Uh, pretty simple. You just go to either the program you want to use. So usually your programs are in, um, what is that, USR bin. All right, and look at all these uh, programs. Uh, do we have mousepad in here? I think we do. There we go, mousepad. So if I want to create a mousepad shortcut uh, to auto startup, um, and your auto startup program or your folder, your local folder, should be in your config auto start here. So right now you can see that I only have um, one file here, right? If I want to create another one with this uh, mouse pad here, I can do dex. I'm going to do target folder, and the target folder is in our config auto start. And we're gonna actually create a shortcut for that. So USR bin and mouse pad. I don't need that mouse pad. There you go. So this is how the command looks like here. If you want to, um, you know, uh, set mouse pad to auto start. So hit enter, and now we actually generate one here. Uh, so you can see we have two now, right? You have this uh, auto startup script that I use and this mouse pad that we just added and basically it just generates a dot desktop files for you now if you want to do multiples uh, because right now we only have two here well, let's say for example do we have anything else in here I think so we have like wine well, let's say we do wine uh, I don't know wine boot or whatever and we'll do another one USR bin and we'll do like Firefox or something, all right. And basically, what it'll do is add, add it to our auto startup uh, folder here, and it'll generate more. And uh, whenever your computer boots up, it will actually just read up, um, you know, whatever files in here, and it'll load that. And the files in here is simple; it's just a text file, really, but it's a uh, .desktop extension. And you can see here what it does is that will execute whatever's in this exec command here, right? Um, pretty simple. 
now that's one's to put it in your auto startup uh, folder but if you want to just create one locally just for in the current folder you can do that too and how would you do that uh, let's go to our script folder or something we have some examples so for example if I want to create one um, I don't know what we got we got PeerFlex. okay we'll use that one um, so for example if I do Dex and we'll do create and this one we want to use um, our script folder and we want to use pure flex here the script and if I want to generate a shortcut for that in the current folder that we're in um, you know not an auto startup folder or anything that's what you do here you said enter and it'll actually generate one so you can see down here uh, we'll actually generate a uh, .desktop uh, file for you and here again it just points to you know wherever um, the file is located at and pretty much that's how you would generate a dot desktop file um, using this program it's pretty cool um, most of the time before I think I was using just um, a text editor like Vim or Nano and I'll you know create one myself but this one is actually built in uh, you can use it and you can actually do it really quick uh, it's, it's mostly to like an alternative to the auto start uh, that you have in the GUI but this one is the command line and if you prefer the command line um, this is the program to use anyways that's pretty much it for the program I mean they give you some good examples down here too if you want to do multiples uh, multi I mean other stuff in here like this one I just talked about if you want to add multiple uh, generate multiple desktop files for each uh, applications Again, this one is for the environmental. You see how which one it starts up, and this one is just a dry run. Uh, you can read up on it if you want. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the program. Dex should be in your repositories. That's it for this one.